subscribe to my channel and press the bell icon for the latest updates. Hi, what's up people out there? This is me as a show from Astro Creation. Welcome back to my YouTube channel. Well, today in this video, we are going to create a very, you know, unique uh, Christmas winter snow photo manipulation like uh, very high and like just um, Instagram portraits. Today in this video, we are going to create such a uh, snowy photo manipulation in this video. Before getting to the video, just press the like button on this video and if you haven't subscribed the channel, then do subscribe and press the bell icon so that it will notify whenever I post new video. And log on to our website that is www.aspirecreations.com. From there you can find your background, PNG, color lookup, camera filter, lightroom preset, every kind of photo editing stuff for free. And follow me on Instagram. Well, get to, let's get to the Photoshop. Open the Photoshop and open the photo which you want to edit now. Let's select the photo by using the quick selection tool from here and click on this plus icon. Increase the size of the brush from here and just uh, roll all over the subject's body to make it selected. Now again we have to select the hairs. So we are going to use the same technique that is right click on it and select select and mask option from here. And just roll all over the subject's hair to make it selected. So it will automatically detect the edges and it will select the very minor selection of the hairs. Now just press OK. Now just right click on it and select layer via copy option to make the duplication of the object. Here we have made the duplication or you can directly press Ctrl J from the keyboard to make the duplication. Now let's add some background to the photograph. So I will go to the file, click on open. And let's add the bookish background of the Christmas tree. Let's select one of the background. Okay, here we have selected this background. Just drag it and drop over this tab simple it is very simple now just go to the edit select pre transform and just uh, press uh, shift and alt key from this corner to drag it <coughs> now let's just adjust the position of the subject where we actually want this image to be placed I think here it would <clears throat> it would be looking very perfect I guess So just place it over here Now let's crop the image by using the crop tool So here we have made the cropping of the image you can also crop it in a square so that it can remain in your Instagram if you want to make it. You can make it for your Instagram profile. Let's first of all just uh, adjust some more things in this photo. Increase the size. Now let's just select the square size. Just place it over somewhere here. And just press enter. So finally here we have made the profile photo for the Instagram. Now let's add some more bouquets, you know, let's this Christmas tree on this photo. Just drag and drop over here. Press Ctrl D to transform it. Let's say we can, you can place over here somewhere. So that it will create a very, you know, perfect and uh, realistic look on this photo. Let's create new layer for here. 
right click on it, select clipping mask, select the brush tool and just pick the color by using the alt key and just paint on the edge of the subject so that it will look very realistic and natural so here we have painted the edges now all you gonna do is just uh, merge both the layers Now let's add levels to the photograph so we'll just click on this clipping mask and just drag to left to right and right to left. So it will enhance your photograph. See you can see the before and after effect. It really creates a very you know depthness on the photo image. Now merge, just merge both the layers. Now let's uh, add some more. Okay, let's just duplicate this uh, tree layer and just to uh, keep it about the layer of this. Now press Ctrl T and let's uh, just uh, go to the filter, then select the blur, then give the box blur, and just. Uh, change to around 30 percent or 30 boy press ctrl t again and you can adjust the position of the image like over here Let's give the position to power here. Yes, now it seems very natural and realistic. Now let's add some more snow on this photograph. So we'll go to the file and open the snow particles. Just drag and drop over this tab. Press Ctrl D to transform it. Change the blending mode to screen. And you can just increase the size of the snow. again just duplicate the layer again add some more rotate it horizontal way or in the vertical way it should be looking very natural that the snow is snow is falling from the sky and all Here let's uh, delete this portion of the snow by using the eraser tool. Because we don't want over this area. So you can erase it anytime. Also if you don't want in this portion you can also erase the area of snow. now it's time to add some loots to the photograph so we'll add some more loots on this photo the very first thing we'll do is just blur the edge of the subject by using the blur tool and select the hard round brush change the strength to around 40 percent and just uh, move this brush on the edge of the subject so that it will look uh, very realistic and natural let's unhide this layer and just paint or the blur on the edge of the subject to make it more look very original
make sure every corner of the subject has you know make the blur portion nothing should be remained just blur with everything and every corner every edge of the subject because this will create a very unique deafness on the photograph so we are blurring the edges so finally here we have done the blurring of the edges now let's uh, blur on this portion also now just merge all the layers right click on and select merge layers just crop it by using the crop tool and just crop it now let's go to the filter select camera filter and then let's add some preset to the photograph go to this preset tab and select any of the presets from here if you want to give a moody look you can add this phantom preset This whole preset can be found in the link given in the description or you can download it from my website also from the camera preset tab. I think let's give the moody look to the photograph. It, it really looks very nice this one moody look. Or oh, this steel gold orange effect. This one also looks very quite good. But this phantom preset looks very moody and you know classic. Like a real snow falling from the sky. So let's just select this moody preset. and just press ok so here we have made a very moody and you know very realistic photo manipulation like uh, instagram and uh, for the christmas if you want to add some lights on this photo you can create new layer and select brush tool and just uh, select the yellowish light and just paint one stroke of the brush press ctrl D change the mode to screen and just add the light over here anywhere somewhere like here this will give a very you know gradual tint on this photo to make it look very realistic and like uh, sun rays are falling You can also change the color by using by pressing Ctrl U. Press OK. Just merge both the layers. Crop the image again by using the crop tool. So here we have finally made our image. Here you can see the before and after effect. It really looks very very amazing. I hope you guys have enjoyed the video. This is the perfect example for your you know christmas photo manipulation with moody effect well thank you for watching and if you have subscribed the channel then do subscribe and press the bell icon and just give me a like button on this video so that it will motivate me to make more videos like this and thank you for watching and bye bye till the next video